to do to help this team win. That's what he's done in this offense. And right away, clear to the left side, that's Dylan Sparks. They fake it to Sparks. And again, a little pitch that time. It was blown up in the backfield. Game for Davidson. Looks like we will. The lefty Cox and fires. Throw a little high. Caught, but immediately popped and dropped was the lead. In relief of Cooper. On first down, he'll laser one complete at the 25. That'll be first down yardage. And here's a name to look out for. They're six, seven tight. Jackson and Samuel, the two back. Samuel in motion. Instead, it's going to be Webb keeping it. Webb finding daylight past midfield. It's a foot race. 40, down to the 20, and wrapped up at about the one yard line. A touchdown, 67 yards. Uh, quarterback counter, and you kind of show it with a pass look, and it's an excellent job up front by that offensive line. They loosen them up with a couple of quick throws. I like the scheme so far from Jimmy Ogle, the Jacksonville State. Webb out of the gun on first and goal. Handoff and a touchdown. Josh Samuel finds pay dirt. His eighth rushing touchdown of the season. It, I ran into Josh's, Josh's father in the hotel. They're from Iowa. He drove 18 hours to see his. Phelps orchestrating another drive for Davidson. Takes it himself. Tried the behind the left side of that line. Seen this today. Sparks dropped in the backfield for a loss. Great pursuit on the play. That backfield to make a play. Well, Cuba calling his shots. Third down and 10. Little option play to the far side. Nothing doing. Buried in the backfield is Phelps, Marshall, Clark, all over. Give Chris Hardy some credit too. Watch the left side of your screen. He's untouched. Puller's going to try to attack him. And Hardy takes on that pull exactly the way that he needs to. That's actually a nice job by Tyler Phelps of not pitching that football. He just ate the play, says, you know what? We don't have it on this one. Let's maintain possession. We'll try to flip the field. It's a good job of not. Just the third drive and just the seventh play for the Gamecocks, and it'll be a good one. To the left side. And plowing ahead is Josh Samuel for 15 yards. Do we expect to see more Trey Berry? Been rather quiet here in this first half. Good second effort. West lowers that shoulder. And something Jimmy Ogle told us is that we're going to go to Barry. Whether it's there or not, it's a mismatch. This might be a mismatch here. West just banging off bodies like a pinball into plus territory. Back in the medieval days. That sounds dangerous. Second and two. Cock and fire deep down the field. Webb looking. What a catch in traffic by McVeigh. Had a defender. Draylen Webb handoff foot race to the edge and West finds pay dirt easily nobody in sight touchdown Gamecocks second down call at nine Phelps the lefty triggers and in and out of the hands of the intended target it's Hill have to show it on second and ten, a whole lot of misdirection. Pitch play, Phelps has nowhere to go. Nobody to pitch it to, and no daylight at all as he is. Webb gives it off to Samuel, gets to the edge, and races past the first down marker inside the 40 before Draylon Hines. <laughs> it seems a lot farther from here. Second down and Aniston for the Gamecocks. Breaking free is Samuel. Samuel breaking another tackle at the 40 and down to the 35. Now I can start doing some simple math. Webb on third down. Pats and fires. Right on target. Caught inside the five. Lunging toward the goal line. On second and goal. Fake the handoff and tiptoeing into the end zone is Zion Webb for the touchdown. Jacksonville State was in this playoff in 2018. They lost to Maine in the second round. That is recovered by Jacksonville State. That acts almost like an onside. Turns into a big gain in possession. 39 seconds to play. Webb, end zone, 50-50, ball is caught for the touchdown. Petway. 
Excellent job, Webb. Good protection in the pocket. He just says, hey, Petway, Michael Petway, go get it. Michael Petway's 5'10". Some of the 50-50 balls, some of the contested balls with these Jacksonville State receivers are yanked. Way in the Gamecocks. Caden Jenkins was on the coverage, and Petway just yanked it away. As you mentioned, just 5'10". Sparks wrapped up at the line. That plays any indication. Talk about a three-time Ohio Valley Coach of the Year in Coach Gross. A graduate of Jacksonville State, and look out, Pat Jackson turns on the Jets and finds the end zone. A 55-yard score for the Gamecocks. Very happy about this play. That's 86, left side of your screen. Logan McKay riding his man all the way out of bounds. And it's an excellent read. This is actually an option play. That is the first touchdown reception of the year for Jackson, a junior. Fight you. He'll get in there and scrap a little bit and doesn't have the physique to maybe be dominant in that facet of his game, but you're at least going to get the effort. Uh, everything is rolling right for the Gamecocks right now. Look at that punt all the way to the one-yard line. He was a quarterback when he went to college, and he punted at Central Arkansas. Look at him. He's the athlete. There you go. One-handed catch right there. Just palming the football was Barry. He's just been kind of riding this inside zone play for a couple series now. A lot of this credit goes to the running back in the backside of the offensive line, continuing to sort of fold that defensive line down. Nice job there by Jacksonville State touchdown. Most of that drive belonging to Uriah West, five consecutive former Division II national champion, Jacksonville State. A toss, an alley, and a foot race. Down the sideline, inside the 10, and tripped up at the one. Line, sniff the goal line. Absolutely. That'll be an easy path. No need to smash mouth. They just go on the periphery and Pat Jackson will. Jacksonville State and live. Mike is continuing to move away. That's actually a pretty dangerous hit there on the sideline. The group of five is going to continue. Well, it's great to be sitting here after a W. You know, anytime you survive and advance in the playoffs, it's a, it's a good day. You know, so it ended up being a beautiful day. I uh, don't know where it came from. Uh, you know, we had a, you know, what a frost earlier in the week. So, you know, thought we was going to have all kind of rain and lightning and stuff so to get through the day as pretty as it was. And it was actually hot. It was very humid and stuff. So, thought we handled that pretty good. And, you know, a little different game day for us. We definitely, uh, because of the NCAA stuff, we, we missed uh, the Southerners. Uh, the cheerleaders and, and uh, cocky for sure. So the atmosphere is a little bit different. But, you know, the limited 25% crowd that we had there, uh, I thought was very loud and, and infected the game. So I was glad that, you know, we had those that, that bunch there. But, um, you know, starting off, you know, I think uh, coming into the game, you, it's going to take a series or two to adjust to uh, – Triple option out of the gun. You know, we hadn't seen the option in a couple of years. And, uh, you know, just adjust to it. It's a little different out of the gun it is under center, you know. And I, I thought it was going to take us those couple of series to adjust to it. And after that, I thought we, we did pretty good, you know, defending it, uh, didn't give up any. The big thing on the day, we, we bent, bro, don't break. You know, we didn't give up explosive plays and we kept them out of the end zone. And I think that was a big thing. And, uh, you know, we found ways to get them stopped. Now, early in the first half, we let them stay in the game, and we didn't get off the field defensively. We'd like to have a few of those third downs back and, you know, some fourth downs that they converted and, you know, found ways to keep drives going on us. And that kind of limited the time we had on offense. But we get on offense, we score so quick, and the defense will be right back out there. And uh, so the big thing on the day, I knew we had to score touchdowns. We got the ball in the red zone, and we were able to do that. I know we – I think we were five for five on that. And we had some long, long plays as well. So I think we, for the most part, took care of the ball. You know, um, offensively, we let them steal a possession on the, and tried to throw the ball, to throw the ball down the field. And I thought it was a good throw, good decision. I designed the boy just got it. their DB just made a really good play. You know, we got wedged to the sideline, and that's the things you didn't want to happen early in this game that kind of kept them in the game. Uh, but. I thought our defense handled that, like I said, and just kept them out of the end zone. And right before half, I think, turned the whole game around. You know, that that little, you know, two-minute episode right there uh, before half. We get it with a chance to go up three scores. 
uh, we overcome a, a second and 37 uh, on on that drive and you know convert, get the ball down. Uh, not a lot of time on the clock. We're out of timeouts, and, and we get the ball in the end zone. And then we come back and we get the uh, the sky kick. You know, hits the ground. You know, Price made a heads up play, gets on the ball, and we was able to score quick on that. And we go up 28-7 instead of going in 21-7. So I thought that was big. Those two drives because you could have go, you could have went in in one score game, and it flipped into you know a 28-7 game. So I thought that was big. But take my hat off, Coach Abel and him. He's done a great job there. They're a well coached team. They do a great job of what they do. And uh, like I said, take my hat off them being in playoffs first time in, since 1969. So they, they, did a, they did a great job. But our guys, take my hat off them. They played, played good enough to win today and, and move forward. So we're going to get this one behind us and sit back night and see who we got in the second round. Uh, I really can't tell you. I guess they just they targeted me a lot. And I just made plays, you know. So. Coach Sid did a good job, a good job by helping me be prepared for this week and just go go up against his offense and, and dominate it. I was it was both, you know. Um, we went to halftime and adjusted a couple of plays, and the rest of it just came from just our ability, just running to the ball and just just doing what we do. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, in our room, quarterback room, we just have a bad memory when bad things happen. So when something happens and we don't like the situation that we in, we just got to bounce back from it and come back and do better. Um, we take it one round at a time. Just be confident in what we do. So we come out and do our job and play how we play. We should be taken care of. Same as well, like Zion said, you know, we just take game, one game at a time. You know, we go put this game behind us and, and get prepared for whoever we play next. Well, I mean, it wasn't a lot. We made a couple adjustments the second half, just how we were fitting things, uh, you know, which I think helped us the second half. But, I mean, I think it's more of a, you know, kind of speed of the game deal. Uh, you know, you can – you got, you know, really a week, really five practices to get ready for, you know, playing something you've never seen before. Um, so I thought our guys handled it well. But you knew going into the game it was going to take you, a, you know, some time. It's different than scout team running. Our scout team did an excellent job of showing it to us. But the game speed is going to be different. So I think, you know, the physical adjustment, you know, uh, you know, getting used to it those first couple of drives really helped us. And then I thought our staff did a good job, um, you know, making some adjustments at halftime because, you know, second half we pretty much shut them down. So it was, uh, it was a good deal. We, we got stops. We made a punch of football. And, you know, we were uh, able to capitalize offensively and get touched. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of the, yeah, it's kind of the way the game laid out. It was, uh, you know, I think the turnover, you know, them still in that position and, you know, throwing the interceptions, so they stole that and, uh, you know, they just found ways to keep us off the field. They can, they converted. It was starting four down deals and kept our offense off the off the field. And, you know, when our offense was out there, we scored quick, so it gave them the ball back again. So, uh, you know, it, it was just one of those deals. And I didn't I knew there was going to be a difference in the time of possession. I didn't know it was going to be quite as large as what it was. But I think it's the fact of just staying out there too long defensively because we were close to getting some other stops in that first quarter and the second quarter that we just didn't get, and we were close to doing that. But – you know, hey, we, you know, you miss a miss a tackle here or there, or you know, you just miss a fit here or there, and, and it uh, they made it made us pay for it. Yeah, I think he was fine. I mean, I think he knew he made the right decision. You know, we worked on that. We want to throw the ball deep on, on their corners, and uh, he didn't hear as many as what we what we wanted to. And I thought twelve, you know, played the ball really well. So I didn't think it was a poorly thrown ball um, at all. And I think he just bounced back and you know just commanded the offense and and did a good job with that. So I mean, it was one of those deals where you know you, you could have not got either one of those scores right there for half, and we were able to punch both of those balls in and you know make plays. It was. Uh, it was big. He had, he had a good game. Uh, 
Well, I, mean, I think it helps this team. We still got a young football team, so to get a home win, the way we won this game definitely builds a little confidence. And uh, you know, you got to take one game at a time and prepare. So I'm anxious to see who we'll get, and uh, if we get another home game, hopefully, uh, or we have to go on the roads. Cause you never know what's going to happen in these games. So anybody can beat anybody, but uh, you know, Delaware's a favorite in that game for sure. But I do think, you know, Bill. And one of the big things coming out of this game is huge. I've not talked to our trainers yet, but if I'm not mistaken. Uh, I think we got came clear of no injuries, <laughs> you know. So, you know, to play a triple option team, it cuts you all the time to, you know, uh, you know, come out of it clean injury wise. I think we're good. I know Nez we got banged up a little bit knee wise, but I think I think everybody's pretty much healthy. We didn't. I mean, you, you thought that, but you just never know what the committee is going to do and, and who's going to get in, how many out of each conference is going to get in. So that looked like the likely draw, uh, but we did not spend a lot of time in the off week. You know, we, we pretty much spent time working on us, you know, and I think that was a um, smart thing to do because you, you don't want to guess at it and, you know, then it be somebody else and you've already put a lot of work into that. So we kind of worked on the Gamecocks and got our legs back under us and, and had a good off week. But I want to tell you what, I can't tell you how much that off week, you know, did for our legs and just mentally having a chance to catch our breath. I thought that helped. You could kind of see that today. Well, we knew if we got the ball on the perimeter or, or could get the ball down the field, we was going to make big plays. And uh, I think we capitalized pretty much up besides the interception on just about every one that we took. Because, you know, you look at our passing yardage, you know, we didn't throw the ball a lot. I mean, we're nine for 15, but we hit some really big balls, you know, and we had a drop in that. Now, so we should probably have been 10 for 15, but, uh, you know, we hit some explosive plays. I thought uh, receivers made some really good, you know, snags down down the field and, you know, did did really good job there besides the one deep ball. No, I think I think it was huge. I mean, and we've been you know down before in the game and came back and things like that. So this team has grown every time it's you know gotten a chance to do that. And I I think they did that at that time. And you know we knew we yeah, it had to turn over and they capitalized on it, had the long drive. But then we bounced right back, got the ball offensive, went right back down, and scored, and went up a score. So I do think you know you pointing that out is a huge turning point as well. You know, I'd alluded to the end of the half, but that probably is as big of a thing as anything to go back up a score, you know, on that next drive offensively when they scored. So it was huge because, uh, you know, they brought a decent little crowd, you know, and they they were in the game and, you know, they gained a little confidence off of that drive. So if we sit there and turn the ball over again or have to punt the ball, you know, and, and give them a little more momentum, you never know what can happen. So we took control of that, the game. At, from that point forward, I thought the game was ours. Yeah, I was. I mean, I, like I said, I think they, they, you know, kind of played a bent but don't break. And, you know, we didn't get off field as many times as we wanted to in the first half. But I think we corrected that the second half. And, you know, I think we outrushed them. I mean, they were up here rushing statistics in the country, so we outrushed them today. And, you know, we gave up at that last drive in the, you know, really third quarter and fourth quarter. Uh, but we had a lot of a lot of backup guys in that they got some of that yardage on. They're out there before those that drive. I think we had held them about 150, 160 yards rushing. You know, so uh, I think defensively, 
you know, when you only give up really seven points, uh, you know, I thought they really did a good job. Well, it's heads up play, you know, and, and like I said, it was one of those deals where ball kind of got hung up in the air and they had a hard time playing it. And uh, a lot of times, you know, people run down the field to make a tackle, don't have the awareness to, you know, get on that ball. And I thought Price did an excellent job of getting on that ball and, you know, making that play. I, I, that just gave us a spark that we needed right there for half. And, and offensively, sticking that ball in was big.